Hello everyone, I hope you have a good day. So another Pokemon storage solution that I want to kind of showcase to you today. Um, so this one I kind of show in other videos as well if you've watched it before. This is my first ever Pokemon album and it's an Ultra Ball album. I got it in, um, I think I got it in Nashville back then and in a store that called Great Escape. I don't know if they're still around, um, but it's just a small like because when you first start collecting you start small kind of so this is just a regular four sleeve ones uh later on we up air quote upgrade so you can see this is a very thin album um so for like not really like serious collection psh, that was fine uh this is our bigger album uh stuff uh we kind of kept stuff on top, which is not intended. But basically a regular nine ring binder and you just basically buy a bunch of um, car sleeves. Uh, and it actually works well because you can even put like regular folder you can see here. This is just a regular like folder you punch holes. <laughs> um, you didn't have to buy it. Like, you know, I mean you buy the folder, but it's not like expensive. Um, official trading card product per se. It's just a regular one. So the nine ring binder solution was economic again. It's handy. It's very flexible, uh, and you can even do like labeling. So if I try and th these are the older binder, like I said, the older solution that we had that we didn't upgrade and move on yet. But you can see like you can put post it, and I'm I'm a kind of like organized freak. Um, in that department so we put post it like oh what Pokemon it is and you can imagine old days newbies just like oh legendary burst oh Pikachu and then like each of the Pokemon then I do a labeling kind of based on and we only collect like we didn't try to collect everything back then we just like collect based on our interest so you can see like the first page is uh, and if I can adjust the lighting slightly off so that you don't see the glare um, it's like the legendary bird because and these are like regular ultra pro nine ring binder like nine ring pages that we kept and we kept it, it it's a very well organized th way of storing things let's put it this way but we don't like it i'm just being blunt we don't like it if you're a serious collector um the reason was um and it's not just like regular because I was using a regular nine ring binder Even if I were using the ultra pro like um, Album and stuff. I still we just still don't like it It's, it's basically this design itself because what happened is when you close it and Even for these things imagine you have a big thick ones when you close it. It doesn't stay straight You can see like here it didn't say straight, so there's a possibility it slanted over and like because the card weight heavy on top, it slanted over and your card just slanted too. So over time, you compress it, your card condition is not as mint, not as minty anymore. That's why it's a very, it's probably the way that people use the most in terms of how to store the cards. But if you were a serious collector, we, after our 20 plus years of collecting, we don't really recommend using those. Um, if you really have to use it, because that's the easiest way to store things slash probably one of the most economic way to do it, one of it, um, we will recommend store it vertical because at least you... Okay, like store vertical probably with book ends, I'll put it this way. So at least your vertical straight up and down, you wouldn't slant it. The cart, the chances of the cart slanted and damages is less comparatively speaking. So that's our kind of recommendation. Um, that's why we kind of moved to the top loaders. Of course, top loaders has its own like, like double-edged sword, I would say. Um, that's why when you're grading, and I just put with these as a sample, they they actually say use semi-rigid uh, card holders, which are like bigger than top loaders, by the way. The size-wise is bigger. Um, because top loaders itself is usually hard. And 
and if it's hard when your car edge hit the wall of the top loader like the inner wall of the top loader you might get a whitening edge on it so that's one when you grade that you use these we haven't graded this box has been purchased for five years now it's probably like really good price because it's five years inflation and i still got it at five years ago price because i bought it for five years and not using it but that's why when they grade it they don't ask you to send it in top loaders because they worry that the whitening and then which which side is going to blame the other for you know causing the car damage right they don't want that so that's why they recommend the semi rigid to me the semi rigid is <laughs> it's just like this the sleeves like it depends on how you store it if you have like some sort of hard thing and put a bunch of semi rigid kind of um in it kind of like how they you know what they come in maybe it works i don't trust the semi rigid as well because like it's just a sleeve it's not slave it's, it's just like this so i still prefer top loaders we just don't wiggle it like we don't let it move basically um even for the uv protected uh magnetic case we prefer those over any of these softer solution um so that's our view on the product i mean none of these pro these videos are sponsored by either ultra pro or bcw uh, we kind of cover both parties products um yeah it's not sponsored by them it's just our feedback in terms of how after we collect 20 years what we thought is the best solution i'll put uh, a video in the future in the near future uh, probably like consecutive days on other solutions that we have tried and which one we think is the best probably the best one i'll leave as the last one so that you can kind of reference if you're a new collector or if you actually have feedback on how to make it even better do let us know but until then i hope you enjoyed today's video and have a good one guys bye